What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a CAN system with the MCP2515 CAN bus module. I'll be connecting this with a USB to CAN converter back into my computer where I'll be running a Linux virtual machine and I'll be logging the raw CAN output using CAN utils, which you can install on any Ubuntu or Kali Linux system. So if you watched my previous video on how to make a CAN bus on a breadboard, I made this system using the TJA1050 CAN bus module transceiver from Commimark, which is essentially just a very small breakout board of the CAN transceiver itself, which you interface with, uh, with these two data lines, just the TX and RX. And this is in comparison to the CAN bus module that I'll be using today, which is actually a full-fledged CAN controller. You can see here it has the MCP2515 CAN controller as well as the TJA1050 CAN transceiver, and you interface with the CAN controller using the SPI protocol. So I got a few requests on this video to uh, use this chip right here. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration uh, on how to set this system up. So this is a video of the full setup here. On the right side, I have the Arduino Uno with SPI connection to the CAN bus module. And on the canvas module, we just have can high and can low coming out on the left side. And that's going into my can to USB converter module, which is just a DB9 connector. And you can just stick those jumpers right onto the can high and can low pins. And then this cable goes to my laptop, uh, as well as this cable right here. So this cable right here, um, I've set it up so that the uh, USB connection is going to my uh, Linux virtual machine. So I'll be able to use socket can tools. So I have uh, a link here, which is the official Arduino MCP2515 can interface. So you can just come down here. They've got some you know, good, good information here if you wanna learn more. So as you can see in this diagram here, uh, we've done this whole setup. It's just spy. Um, I guess there's one thing to note is this int, which I think stands for interrupt. But anyway, it's going to the digital two pin. So just make sure you do that. And then everything else is pretty straightforward. So now let's get into the software installation. So they've got a nice link here, which we can just download. Once it's downloaded, take note of the path and then open up Arduino. Go to sketch, uh, include library, add, add a zip library, downloads and then it's going to be this uh, Arduino MCP2515. In my case it says you already have this library so you, you don't need to do that. Um, so once you install this library that'll there will be a little prompt that'll ask you which file which sketch you want to open. Open up the can write sketch. So let's just quickly walk through the sketch uh, to understand what's going on. Uh, the first uh, important thing that we do in this sketch is we instantiate the MCP2515 object. And in the constructor, we're gonna pass the chip select pin uh, that we're gonna use for the spy connection. In the setup function, uh, we're just going to create uh, two CAN messages here, and we're gonna give them arbitrary IDs and data, uh, and we'll just set the data length code to eight bytes. Then down here, uh, we set up the interface with a baud rate of 115200. We do a little reset of the MCP object. And uh, this line here is quite important because we're setting the bit rate of the CAN protocol uh, that we're gonna be using, as well as the clock frequency of the device we're using, which in our case is eight megahertz. Um, so it will not work if you don't specify this, so make sure you put that in there. We're then going to uh, put our MCP object in normal mode, um, whatever the API does with that. And then uh, we, get, we hop into the loop function where we just send two CAN messages repetitively. So um, I'll flash it uh, onto my Arduino one more time just to show you guys. So there we go. Everything's uh, all loaded up. So let's open up the serial monitor here. And look at that, it's dumping a bunch of data. Um, cool, so we know now that the Arduino is sending packets. So now let's make sure that we're receiving those packets. Um, so I have a virtual machine here 
which if you want one yourself, uh, you can watch my other video, uh, which I've linked in the description, uh, which shows you how to set this up. So the first thing you're going to need to do uh, with your virtual machine is make sure that it has the USB to CAN converter connected to it, which is pretty straightforward. You just go to removable devices and make sure that you have the little check mark here. You can also double check that it's working by doing the LS uh, USB command. And here you can see the OpenMoco um, CAN converter. So now let's do a IP link LS and the CAN interface is down. So let's go ahead and set that up with pseudo IP link set up CAN zero type CAN bit rate 500,000. Let's do an IP link LS and the CAN interface is up. And let's do a CAN dump CAN zero. And look at that, we're getting uh, tons of data. So uh, we can just check that the Arduino serial monitor is still sending a whole bunch of data. Um, and we're receiving it in the Linux virtual machine. So this shows that we have um, a working CAN system where we're transmitting using an Arduino and we are receiving it in Linux and we are doing all of this through uh, these CAN converter modules using the SPI protocol. So if you enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.